హలో గైస్ దిస్ ఇస్ రేవన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ డిజి ఇంటిగ్రిటి వెల్కమ్ టు టెక్ న్యూస్ ఎపిసోడ్ వన్ థర్టీ టూ ఎయిర్టెల్ హాస్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్లీ కండక్టెడ్ ఎ ఫైవ్ జీ ట్రయల్ ఇన్ లోవర్ ప్యారల్ ముంబై అండ్ ఇట్ యూస్ ఇట్ ఎక్విప్మెంట్ మేడ్ బై నోకియా అండ్ త్రీ థౌసండ్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ మెగా హర్ట్స్ బ్యాన్ టు హిట్ స్పీడ్ అప్వర్డ్స్ అప్ టు వన్ గిగా బిట్స్ పర్ సెకండ్ ఎయిర్టెల్ ఇస్ ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ టు కండక్ట్ మోర్ ట్రయల్స్ ఇన్ ది కమింగ్ వీక్స్ దిస్ టైమ్ ఇన్ కోల్కతా నథింగ్ ఇయర్ వన్ ప్రైస్ ఇన్ ఇండియా హ్యావ్ బిన్ రివీల్డ్ ఆన్ ఫ్లిప్కార్ట్ టూ బి అరౌండ్ రూపీస్ ఫైవ్ థౌసండ్ నైన్ నైన్టీ నైన్ విత్ ద ప్రైస్ రివీల్డ్ అరౌండ్ టూ వీక్స్ ప్రియర్ టు ది ఒఫీషియల్ లాంచ్ ఆఫ్ ది ప్రోడక్ట్ ఆన్ జులై ట్వంటీ సెవెంత్ ద కంపెనీ హాస్ ఆల్రెడీ అనౌన్స్డ్ దట్ ద ఇయర్ వన్ విల్ బి అవైలబుల్ ఆన్ ఫ్లిప్కార్ట్ ఇన్ ఇండియా వన్ ప్లస్ హాస్ బిన్ టెస్టింగ్ ద నోట్ టు స్మార్ట్ ఫోన్ అండ్ బి ఆల్రెడీ అరైవ్ ఆన్ జులై ట్వంటీ సెకండ్ విత్ డైమండ్ త్రీ థౌసండ్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ షిప్ సెట్ టుడే ద కంపెనీ పోస్టెడ్ మోర్ క్రూషియల్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ దిస్ టైమ్ అబౌట్ ద డిస్ప్లే ఇట్ విల్ బి అక్స్ పాయింట్ ఫోర్ త్రీ ఇంచ్ ఫ్లూయిడ్ అమలెట్ డిస్ప్లే విత్ నైన్టీ హర్ట్స్ రిఫ్రెష్ రేట్ అండ్ విల్ బి హెచ్ డి ఆర్ టెన్ ప్లస్ సర్టిఫైడ్ ఎంఐ సిక్స్టీ సెవెన్ వాట్ సోనిక్ చార్జ్ త్రీ పాయింట్ జీరో చార్జర్ లాంచ్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ద చార్జర్ ఇస్ ప్రైస్ రేట్ రూపీస్ థౌసండ్ నైన్ నైన్టీ నైన్ వైల్ ఇట్ సపోర్ట్స్ మల్టిపుల్ గ్యాడ్జెట్స్ యాజ్ వెల్ అండ్ దిస్ న్యూ చార్జర్ ఫ్రమ్ జియోమీ విల్ కమ్ విత్ యూఎస్ బి టైప్ ఏ టు యూఎస్ బి టైప్ సి కేబుల్ యాజ్ వెల్ ద చార్జర్ యాజ్ ఎ సింగిల్ యూఎస్ బి టైప్ ఏ పోర్ట్ బట్ జియోమీ క్లెయిమ్స్ దట్ ఇట్ కెన్ జ్యూస్ అప్ మల్టిపుల్ డివైసెస్ ఇంక్లూడింగ్ స్మార్ట్ ఫోన్స్ ల్యాప్టాప్స్ హెడ్ ఫోన్స్ అండ్ మెనీ మోర్ Redmi Note 10T 5G launch date in India is on July 20th. The handset will arrive as the first 5G enabled Redmi phone in the country. Redmi Note 10T 5G specifications include a 6.5 inch display, Dimensity 700 processor and a 48 megapixel primary camera. Xiaomi first unveiled the Mi 11 Ultra in India as part of the Mi 11 lineup back in April but the device was not up for grabs till now. It only went on its first sale a couple of days back. The smartphone maker had only made a limited number of units available. The tech giant has announced that Mi 11 Ultra will go on open sale in India from July 15th at 12 noon. The premium models will be available on Amazon India, mi.com and offline via Mi Home Store as well as selected retail outlets offline. Xiaomi has organized MI anniversary day sales to celebrate its 7 years in India. The sale mentioned huge discounts on many smartphones like Redmi Note 9 and the Redmi Note 10 series devices. Most of the deals and discounts however they are fake. We have obtained exclusive information about two upcoming Xiaomi laptops being launched in India later in July. One of them will feature a 14 inch screen and other is a 15.6 inch screen. They could be a rebranded version of MI Notebook Pro 14 and MI Notebook Pro X that launched in China. Techno a transition group company announced the Techna Power 2 smartphone last month. Now a recent official social media post suggests that the handset will finally make its way soon to India. And the company also mentioned that the new handset will be coming up with a 7000mAh battery. The Techno Power 2 is available in Philippines and retails only a 6GB and 128GB storage variant. It is priced at around 7990 and Philippine peso. We can expect that it will be launching in India around 10000 to 11000 rupees. Google Pay is probably one of the most convenient application when it comes to making online payments. The application offers a ton of features like making payments, recharge, cashback offers and many more. However, the application also allows you to add your debit and credit cards to your Google Pay account, which make it a tad easier to make payments with your phone. But how do you do that? The process is fairly simple and really convenient. Here's how you can easily add a new credit or debit card in Google Pay and use it to make online payments. and many more however it is important to note that this feature is only supported by a few banks the list of credit and debit cards that are accepted on google play are displayed in the screen let's look into the steps open your google pay application on your android or ios device tap on your profile picture and then go to your bank accounts and cards there you will be able to see an option to add cards enter the card number expiry date cvv and card holder name at a billing address then tap on the save button next you will be then asked to accept terms and condition and an otp will be sent to your registered mobile number once done you can see that you have been added next you need to tap on the activate button which will be next to the new card payment method listing enter the otp password sent to your registered mobile number once done you will see a confirmation saying that your card has been added for transactions 
Battle Grounds Mobile India will be hosting a India Series eSport tournament soon. The upcoming tournament will have a prize pool of whopping rupees 1 crore. The tournament will exclusive to Android devices as the game has not rolled out to iOS yet. The developers will announce the tournament on July 15th and start accepting the registration on the same day. The tournament matches will take place from August 2021 to October 2021. Kindly look at the screen for to find the individual performance rewards on the Battle Grounds Mobile India tournament. Battlegrounds Mobile India July update features have been revealed. The update brings ignition mode, new guns and 90 FPS to more devices and gravity vehicles and many more. The Battlegrounds Mobile India July update will be rolled out soon. Samsung upcoming Galaxy unpacked is shaping up to be quite exciting, but we can accept some of the foldable hardware, new watches, running a brand new OS, new earbuds, and an affordable flagship smartphone. Samsung will be holding the next Galaxy unpacked event on August 11th. Vivo V23 launch seems to be around the corner. Vivo V23 E with model number V2116 have been spotted on the IMEI database. Vivo V21 Pro is expected to launch in India later this month. A recent post in IQ's official account on Vivo announced a new tournament named IQ Yuan King of Glory tournament. This tournament's registration will end by the end of the July and its final will happen on the day of IQ 8 product launch. Yes, now you heard it right. The upcoming flagship series of the brand is IQ 8 series. It will launch in China next month or in September. Huawei is working on a 90 watt wired fast charging system. The current iteration of supercharged tops out around 66 watt and was introduced with the Mate 40 series. It is also featured on the new Nova 8i whose 4300 mAh battery can be fully charged in 38 minutes. We can also assume that Huawei P50 and Co will be having a 90 watt charging, but there is no guarantee about it. The 3 series recently certified a phone with 66 watt charging, which may be the Snapdragon 888 powered LTE only version with the P15 maybe the Kyrin 9000 based 5G model will be faster Realme book price specification design and launch date have been revealed the laptop's design is similar to Apple MacBook with 3.2 aspect ratio brushed aluminum built and a large trackpad Realme laptop price in India is set to start under rupees 40000 for the base model Realme Watch 2 Pro will launch in India soon the brand has officially announced. The Realme Watch 2 Pro was launched in Malaysia in May this year. The key specifications include a 1.75 inch LCD screen, heart rate monitor, SpO2 sensor and 14 days battery life. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.